Hello everyone and welcome to Whispering Wind Psychic Cowgirl. My name is Reverend Melissa Kennedy and for the collective energy today it is Archangel Michael's day Tuesday so we have Archangel Michael bringing in a message for us and also Archangel Prolamek and so let's get into this message. I am going to clear the energy. Just raising the vibration and the frequency for this message to come in. Thank you, Archangel Michael. First of all, Archangel Michael comes in for us today. Trusting heaven is the message. And Archangel Michael helps us. It, his name actually means, and he is most like God. And people... Um, connect with Archangel Michael, there's nobody that doesn't resonate that I've ever met that does not accept and welcome Archangel Michael's energy into their lives, into their world. He works very closely with people that work in any kind of job that is of service, whether it is a healthcare provider, a counselor, a preacher, working with children, anything that you, that you can think of that has service attached to it, police officers, military people, um, firefighters, everyone um, that works in service to humanity, Archangel Michael is there. And he will keep your energy clear. If you ask him to, he brings in his brilliant beautiful sword and you can ask Archangel Michael to cut all cords, ties, webs, and connections for you. For any situations that no longer serve you, for any people, for any circumstances, anybody that you feel that might put their connectors into you, you can ask Archangel Michael to lovingly cut those cords, ties, webs, and connections so that you can walk freely on your path. Some people do this on, on an unconscious or subconscious level, and we have the ability to ask Archangel Michael to clear us and clear our energy to keep us walking safely on our path. And also you can ask him to cover you and protect you in his mighty wings as you go about your day to day. So thank you, Archangel Michael, for being with us today and I have some blue crystals here to amplify the energy from Archangel Michael. So we have some um, lapis lazul here and some blue celestine. So, and also some labradorite, which has a lot of blue in it. And that those are the crystals that I chose. And we also have some um, fluorite crystals for Archangel Perlamec. And the message from Archangel Perlamec is let nature soothe you. Serve the nature kingdom. And I, I love to go outside and just connect in with, with divine energy, with God, creator, with um, the energy of the master healer, Jesus. I love going outside and connecting with nature and just being one with nature and just detoxifying my, my thoughts, my body, just imagining all of the things that I'm holding in my body that might cause me to feel unwell, that I just connect in deeply to Mother Earth, Lady Gaia. And you can connect in. The guidance with this card is being in nature calms and balances you to soothe you so that you can see everything through a loving lens. It also enables you to heal and regenerate. So the message on, on the in the book is just mirroring what I just said. And your guidance is to connect with the tree today. These beautiful entities are keepers of local knowledge and they will automatically download it into your thought through your energy fields. Each kind of tree has specific qualities and gifts to offer you such as help with forgiveness, abundance, consciousness, or grace. Simply tune in and know that you'll receive what is right for you. Your guidance is also to serve nature today. 
Touch or think of a tree, invoke a spiritual energy, and visualize it pouring down through that tree into the roots and spreading through the tree network. And as you connect in with Mother Earth, Lady Gaia, imagine that you become like the tree. You become grounded and full of wisdom, full of strength, full of stability. You are grounded right where you are and feel that power and that strength from the tree. Even though the tree never actually walks or goes anywhere or travels anywhere, it is connected, they say. Every tree is connected in through the grid, through the roots of that tree and connected to every tree on the planet. And it is said and believed, and there's actually science to prove that through this grid work, that all trees can communicate with each other. It's pretty wild, isn't it, to think that trees have a consciousness and they can connect with each other throughout the whole entire planet. And it kind of makes me think how small my consciousness is in a way um, when a tree has the ability to connect in so deeply. But I also feel that human beings will figure out that we have that same consciousness and that there is a layer of that consciousness that connects all humanity of the planet. And one day we will be able to just tap right into that collective consciousness and feel the vibration and the frequency of the planet and also the thoughts of the planet be from the people and the animals that dwell on the planet. And I feel like a lot of us are doing that right now. We're understanding that we can do this, that we can feel it. A lot of times I've noticed with, with my readings that I do pretty much daily that there is a theme or an underlying message for each person, but in a different way. And that just proves that we are all connected through this layer of consciousness around the earth, around the planet. So you can just think about that and connect in deeply with Mother Earth and ask Archangel Prolamek to help you connect in today and to clear any energy that no longer serves you. And yes, it is that full moon tonight. And it is a lot about releasing and connecting. So it's really wonderful that Archangel Perlamek comes in today to remind us of our, connect our connection to Earth and also in connecting in with the energy of the full moon tonight. So we're all connected. All things are connected. There is nothing that is disconnected. The universe made it that way. And as we ascend, we will understand how connected we all really are on this planet with everything in everybody. Until next time, Reverend Melissa Kennedy signing off. Bye-bye now.